Okay, so I made a video about this rain barrel pump system uh, a little while ago, and I've been using it now for, it's July now, so for like half the summer. And you know, after observing it, I've decided to make a bit of an update video with a few modifications that I found useful and that you might as well. So in the original video, I just had the water coming in from outside and then turning the corner and going down into the basin that the pump is attached to. But one thing I noticed was that um, air can sometimes actually get kind of in the pipes and, and actually prevent the water flow sometimes. So for example, if you've used up all of your uh, rain and it hasn't rained in a couple weeks, like we've had a pretty dry summer here, um, then what I found is the barrels will fill up, but your basin won't fill up because there's a sort of air blocking the water flow. So I added this little air release valve, which works beautifully to uh, just let the air out and then you close it so you don't make a mess in your basement. And once you've closed the loop, the water moves just like if you're you know, siphoning it out of a gas tank. So that's one modification. Another one that's fairly trivial is that, you know, a lot of people have dehumidifiers in their basement and they collect water that you run down the drain. Uh, you know, mine actually removes uh, quite a few liters per day, so I just run that into the basin as well. Whatever, you know, I'm paying to get that water out of the air, I might as well put it to use. But, but that's a fairly trivial um, addition. The next is that the original barrel had um, just rainwater in it. And so what I've done here is, this is where the rainwater comes in, and there's a float valve on the inside. I'll put a picture. And then what I've done is I've actually connected city water here. So I put a valve so I can turn that off if I want. And then there's another float valve at the bottom, which is below where the pump is drawing water from. So the nice thing about this is, let's say you've set up some kind of sprinkler system outside, you don't have to worry about switching the water to, from rainwater to city water if uh, you haven't had rain in a, a week or two and you've used up all your water. This will, once the rain runs out, this will fill up with city water up to this height, the way I've got it set up. Uh, and yeah, you'll always have water in here that you can pump out to your system. Hopefully it's mostly rainwater, but that way you can have the system running. So basically this just cuts into and goes over basically to where my laundry machine is. Uh, and then, you know, you can turn it on and off. It's nice to have valves for all of that. So all in all, um, uh, I really like this pump system, particularly now that I don't have to worry about switching it uh, when I run out of rainwater. It's working super well. I use it to water my vegetable garden and almost all the watering outside. And um, I even use it to flush my toilets. Um, and I'll, I'll make a video about that soon, I, I promise. Um, so yeah, if you have rain barrels, I would highly suggest that you think about this. If you like this video and others, please share it with someone uh, and consider subscribing to my channel for more sort of odd job DIY stuff that I do around uh, my house. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.